uh, can you make a case, Mark, for an upset in Collingwood Hawthorne? Could the Hawks find their way into a grand final? Yes, they can. It's going to be difficult for them, and we all understand that. You know, there's no doubt about it. But the Pies are out of sorts slightly. There's no doubt about that. They've had a lot of players who haven't played for a long time. When you look at Maxwell Shaw, Thomas, Jolly. Jolly's not right. I don't see Jolly jumping anymore. Didak hasn't played for some time. And then you've got Tuvi was out for a little while too. There's a, that's a fair mass of players. I know that some of them played reasonably well last week, but second up, had a weak spell, don't know what's going to happen. Played against West Coast, performed mediocre, I would call it. They don't want to catch uh, Hawthorne full ball if they come out full ball. I don't know if they've got enough, enough going on them, but their midfield need to, to really work hard. They'll push numbers back. Shollenmakers was pretty good last week. I watched Shollenmakers. He's actually pushing players under the ball. The umpires aren't picking up on this. The, talk, the forwards go for a mark, and all they do is just push him in the back slightly with their shoulder and, and push him out of the way. That is a push in the back cold. If, if they use their hands, they, they're gone. But if they use their shoulder, they tend to get away with it. The players like Gibson and Stratton are there too. That's their defence. And they'll, they'll handle the tall forward, the tall defenders. But the game's going to be won. They're going to push players back and the midfield's going to have to really work hard. And last week they had a, a quarter where they dropped right off that third quarter and almost got run over to the stage. So they can't afford to do that against Collingwood. But they have a chance. Who's got the better midfield in this encounter, King? Oh, definitely. I'd say definitely Collingwood. Definitely. But uh, I don't think it really comes down to, to midfield versus midfield because I think you can mount a case for either getting, having periods of dominance. I think it comes down to the, the key position players being able to mark the ball in scoring areas or being able to deny those marks in scoring areas. And we've talked about this over the last couple of weeks. At the pointy end, it comes down to those big guys, those structural players. You know, ruck dominance and then key post at both ends. Mm. And that's where there's always the door ajar for the Hawks. Because the big boy, number 23, could just have a day out. He could kick six or seven and, and half, mm. be half, you know, carding at that stage. <clears throat> Who knows? But they need more from Rioli. I know Burgon was OK last week, but they need more from him. Mm. Their real guns, their real jets need to have good 15, 20 minute patches, not one and two minute little bursts. They need to be sustained periods of excellence. Well, uh, well you mentioned the word full ball. The way Hawthorne plays the game short, mm. does that turn it into a full ball game? You don't understand well, that, that, that break, yeah. that, that sort of up and down the ground. I think it's a slow game. And then they finally get through it, get it to Buddy, and then Collingwood are away. So it's not in, the, in my... You know, history of full ball footy. It's like careful footy the, with the Hawks. The, num the numbers say that uncontested possession drops 20% from yeah. home and away to finals. Yeah. So it doesn't man suit on the man. Hawks because it becomes mm. more man on man. Correct. It's more mm. pressure. There's more mistakes. Mm. The contested numbers go through the roof. To me, that suits Collingwood. Yeah, I yeah, think it does. does. You got any reservations about Franklin's build-up, regardless of whether he played? Uh, missed round 24, injured in the qualifying mm. final, did nothing in the build-up, played really well mm. uh, as the game went on in the semi. Can't do anything in the build-up now to a prelim. It starts to become an interrupted preparation with conditioning. Yeah, but he's played all year. He's kicked, what, 80 goals or something like that. He's, been, he's played a lot of football. I don't think he's a great track horse. I just not certainly he really kills <laughs> himself. Not a track horse. He's not a track horse. You know <laughs> what I mean? You he's know what he not. is? He's a performer. And yeah. when the crowd walk in the gate and he runs out in the ground and he glistens up and away he goes. Black caviar. <laughs> he's black caviar. Yeah, that's what he does. He's your favourite horse. So don't worry about him. He'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Chris Dawes has been rusty since he came back yeah. from his thumb injury. Yeah. Uh, if he no, doesn't land on the bunny and Cloak is left to do the heavy lifting, does that uh, can the Hawks exploit that? Well, they need Dawes. Look, I, I like. Mm. Sheldon Mackers is a player, but he, he's not quite there yet. As a finals key position player, he's not quite there. Now, that's a flaw. And in finals, you've got to expose flaws. That's what it's all about at the pointy end. And I think Dawes has to come to the party. He, he has to take hold of that matchup. He has to force changes in that back line, because he's, he's logically the one that can do that. But it has to be in goal impact. It can't be just marks, you know, 60, 70, 80 metres from goal. It has to be at the goal face, and it has to be with presence. <clears throat> that's his job, though. His job's a lead-up player, Dawes. He's the leader. But he has to impact And Stratton will take in. He has to mark the ball inside 50 doors. Yeah. Is it, is it part of a tactic, Kingy, to let doors go and keep Gibson away? Get, don't let Gibson be that third man up in all those contests. Correct. Make him get on Buddy and look after Buddy. The, the biggest challenge, tactically the biggest challenge this week, is Hawthorne will want seven defenders yep. versus six Collingwood forwards, whether the Pies are prepared to do that. 
have one loose at their end versus the Hawthorne loose and see who can impose the much damage. Does that Collingwood usually allow damage. that? Sometimes. Collingwood are happy with it, sometimes they're not. So that'll be, that's tactically the biggest move because mm. that'll free up a player mm. lot, not necessarily Gibson all the time, but that rotating free player. So that's the biggest tactical challenge, I, I think. Mm. Um, who I gets the best of it, we won't know, and it may change in game. And that may be blocked up so they'll push eight back there, the eighth one. They'll try and do that all night and it'll be a nightmare, but uh, they won't win if they go back to eight.